Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and welcome back to FM23 Youth Factory. This is episode 33. It's our biggest test of the season. I'm guessing it's going to be our biggest match of the season, period, as I don't expect we're going to get past this one. We are on the road at Aldershot Town. Aldershot still in the National League, so they are two tiers above us in the fifth tier. I do, for the first time since the season opener have our best team out on the pitch but a couple of them are not going to be able to good to go for 90 minutes they they just are not going to play the whole distance and we are better than we were at the beginning of the season so there is that it is a chance for us how can we compete some yeah sumahoro Oh my goodness, I've only seen him score, I think, twice now. He has had more than two goals, but... Wow, fantastic. Gordon finds Arthur inside, and the young rookie finds the young rookie. Both young teenagers straight out of the academy. Didn't even play U18s other than a couple matches at the end of last season right after their March graduation date. And that's been it. Straight into the senior squad, straight into the starting lineup, straight into generating a equality amongst each other uh, with good link-up play. And we see it there. First shot of the game, and we lead 1-0. Absolutely love, by the way. Up here, you can see a couple. There's a couple more there. Uh, but they do have a proper uh, disabled section as someone who has sat in one of those sections on uh, numerous occasions with my mother uh, at various events. I know the challenge of a facility that doesn't have... Port Mortland gives away a bad one. Close range, and we do not get punished. Uh, Bercielli, I think, might have played the angle just right. He showed right. He squeezed the post just a little bit, took the post away, and then the moment that kick was coming through, he dove to the right, knowing that that's what he was showing the opponent. And we are not challenging for too many balls very well. Offside, offside, offside. Where's the flag? Hey, raise the flag. Jeez, the, the intended target was offside by a mile. It was nowhere no, near. It was not even remotely close to onside. He's more than five almost 10 yards offside on the play so it couldn't have been clearer that he was offside so why the flag doesn't get raised when the ball gets played directly to him even if my defender happens to clear it away he was still very much involved in the play and very offside well anyway uh luckily mortland is the only one on a yellow as we approach halftime still leading difficult situation there but red Knapp cuts it out long ball so Mahoro recovers, lays it off. McFadden over the top. A little bit too long on that one. And they find a man in space with a long ball, but McFadden's going to get to this one. Now red nap on the switch. Gordon back to the D. Webb, long ball over the top. Sumahoro, a second chance. Needed to take one more touch. One more touch. It would have been close. Defense might have been able to get a leg in there. Keeper covered that really well. Sumahoro. One little side touch there, slight side touch, and he's got that space to put that behind the keeper. It's just can the defense then get a leg to it? Do they get a leg to him, take him out, and commit the penalty? That's one of those other options. I would have taken one more touch if I were him. Second half underway, on the road, two-tier discrepancy between the teams, and as much as we have improved from the start of the season, we are not at the level we were last year right now. We are not at the level we were two years ago right now. We are only sixth place. I do think that we might be in an unfortunate scenario. When Ann Paris puts out into the wall, they're going to pounce on it first. We've had a little bit of momentum here and there, but they have definitely been the better team. Five shots to ten. That one goes close, scrapes to the top of the netting, but only the back edge of it. And we have played an hour. It's time to start dealing with the uh, substitutions as Mortland gives that one away in a bad place, but Bertielli pounces on the rather weak shot. Let's, let's go ahead and do changes from here. 
fatigue. Gordon, very, very tired. Even though he's our best player, he's going to have to come off because Sango Matombo at least does have quality. Normally the kind of quality that I'm happy with, but not as much here. Uh, Lanahan Penrace. Let's get those fresh legs out there. Wilkinson is finally recovered, ready to come in. Yes, we're taking our two best players off and replacing them with guys who are not as good. But the fresh legs can help us here down the stretch. We don't necessarily need another goal. We need to play keep away. Mortland on that yellow has been on that yellow for a long, long time. Do we want to get Kitching or Thornhill out? Let's go with uh, Thornhill. We are going to start changing our tactics if we can get this one cleared away. Second chance, though. Finds it inside. Out for the corner. We're going to go balanced. And we are going to play for set pieces and time waste just a little bit. A little over 20 minutes from the end here. Keeping possession well at the moment. Great ball over the top for Wilkinson. And was that even a shot? That was Arthur's shot. Okay, I thought they were the ones that cleared that out for a corner. Weak shot there. Grateful for that one. And now it's time to uh, get a little more aggressive on the time wasting. We're going to be a little more disciplined to try to keep the ball. We're going to hold our shape a little bit. We do not need to go into a counter. We're going to slow pace down with the keeper. I do not want to drop back. That is not the plan. Keep the positioning the same. For a couple more minutes. Okay, now, always press. Cautious. Now we're going to do that. Do we want to stop crosses? Yes, let's go ahead and stop crosses. Those are danger zone for us we're not as good at heading as we were and we do not need to counter press as much but we'll go neutral we don't want to just go full regroup stoppage time could it be could it be hassel clears that away mcfadden gets stuck in but we don't get that away hassel gets the block sends it out for a corner and we are officially into that stopping stoppage time as virgielli Great job coming out from a long ways on that one. That's going to go out for a quarter as the wall does its job. Time is just about up. We don't even get to see what that play was, but it goes off somebody out for a goal kick. Bricielli wasting that time. And it's full time. We have survived. We are going to make the first round proper of the FA Cup, which is what was expected of us. But based on the draw... You would think that would have been the end. Just seven shot attempts, just one on target. But that one was enough. We get the goal. We out-XG'd them, despite the fact that they had more shot attempts. We out-possessed them. They were able to turn in a number of shots, a number of attempts. But of those 17, of those five on target, most were not threatening. Most were from really, really long range. And Bertielli had them covered easily. Hence the high rating for our back three trio uh, with Sumahoro stepping up big on the goal and Wilkinson having a decent day there as well. Uh, our subs who came off didn't have an amazing day, but they didn't have bad days either. And that was kind of the nice thing was nobody necessarily had a bad day. They did just about enough. One of the milestones club set for us was to set to to make the fa cup proper make that first round we have finally done it we've been to this fourth qualifying round we've been to that third qualifying round multiple times but we are finally into the first round proper and therefore uh, we've checked off one of those long-term objectives which was to finish this season actually so we are on schedule with that we finished it in time Whew, okay awesome league one enters the fray now for the next draw 85 teams at this stage let's go ahead and see what happens first wave of upgrades are in you can pause if you want to see a little closer as to what's going on with this but i'm going to move pretty quickly through especially until we get to us so far a total of three clubs outside of the national league north or south are still in the competition that's it one of those is on a head they're just you know against sixth tier weymouth but on a replay last 22 teams to draw so we're definitely getting to the bottom end of this three quarters of the teams have been drawn we're up to seven with still a couple of those 
needing a replay to see if they actually make this round or not. Otherwise, there's five that are through, uh, including Real Bedford, our main rivals for the league this year. A uh, question was posed on whether they are whether they've had some sort of ownership change. Uh, the answer is no. But their very first season, they've had three promotions in five years with two league titles and a second place promotion through playoffs. Uh, but they turned professional after their first league title in the first year of the playthrough. So they've been professional for four years now and have benefited from it as they've been climbing the ladder. Maidenhead makes it eight. We make it nine. And we're going to get National League Barrow. And that is it. We are down to single digits for outside of National League left in the FA Cup at this point in time. We get a home draw in not the most favorable, but in the same tier as what we just managed to knock out to stay alive at the competition, fifth tier opposition. We were on the road with Aldershot. For Barrow, we're at home. Better chance. Aldershot was 14th in the league, Barrow's 13th in the league, so they stand to be in the same p position, more or less. They have been punching above expectations so far, the former League 2 side. Now, struggling down here in the National League, media prediction was 22nd. So quality-wise, maybe, just maybe, we can continue to win. Some would say that our next match is going to be the biggest match of the entire season. Now... Some might also say that our reverse fixture later in the year could also be the biggest match of the year. But we are on the road at Real Bedford. They currently sit second in the league, but they are only behind on goal differential to Truro City. We have broken into the playoff zone. We are fifth overall in the league. They also just played a couple of days ago, so that could give us a slight advantage that we played just the day before for our last match. So we are almost equal in those regards but here is how they've looked of late i don't have anything on that one but their creativity defenders this is one of their defenders who key passes dribbles and progressive passes is a defender as a team this one of course is more relevant non-penalty expected goals is right at the top of the league shots per game top of the league goals per game top of the league fouls slightly above average we tend to see a lot of cards given out in the games that we play, so let's hope they get into trouble. Um, but it's not much above average. Cross completion is a little better than their pass completion compared to the rest of the league. And they like to take players one-on-one. -on -one. You can see that really, really clearly. Their dribbles per game is significantly higher than anybody else. And they take more shots and tend to get more on average compared to others. Definitely a difficult test with Real Bedford. I don't remember if I did it earlier in the episode. You might have noticed that I have changed my clothing because it's like two days later that I'm finishing this episode off. I had to go at the time and just now able to get back to it. So can't recall if I mentioned it earlier in the episode or not, but Real Bedford have not had a takeover or anything along those lines. They've had three promotions, and the very first of those, when they won that title, they instantly turned professional. Way down where we were. So for that, it's just kind of an indicator of this has been a team on the rise. This is a team with a payroll way higher than what we have. And while we do have some similar quality to them, their quality goes a lot deeper than ours does these days. And they went awfully close on that chance here in the 10th minute. That was the first attempt at goal of the game. And that's a dangerous free kick, but the wall does its job and Red Knapp clears it away. And Sumahoro draws the foul too. And it's really surprising that there is no card given in that one. Uh, because while there is not a last defender scenario, ooh, that looked offside, but no flag raised, and it could have been on. It could have been on. Uh, I thought he might have gone a little too early. We'll see here. Ooh, I don't know. We stop and try to step up and engage, 
he keeps his run going and then the pass is not instant the pass is like oh you're stepping up to me so our defender has moved up already by this point but no not yet back leg keeps him there it is onside trailing one nil and he was definitely not convinced that that was offside Bercielli makes this stop and suddenly uh, the run of play is very much the momentum is going their way it looked fairly balanced in the, the first 10 minutes and yes they had the first shot attempt but that doesn't mean that they've got all the momentum Ooh, wow that was a great pass there uh, defense did kind of just enough to help put them off 6-0 6-0 on the shots right now like I said while we do have some quality that that just about matches theirs it's the depth where we drop off our first 11 lacks a lot of quality compared to them and I have no idea no idea what Webb is trying to do I suppose he is our ball playing defender that is his role he is not as good at it remember Schmizek uh, and Quintafera leaving us left us with a big gaping hole not only defensively but in possession as well and it really showed on that occasion. That's the first time that it really showed. And I think that's just the quality of opposition stepping up and going, Oh, look, you have the ball at your feet. I'm going to challenge. Oh, look, it's still at your feet. Oops, I got it. I did get the team fired up at halftime. It's always a little easier when you're trailing. And there's a great ball over the top for Sumahuro. And he chips the keeper, beats him easily, but puts a little too much sauce on it. Sen off the woodwork they get a second chance at it but can't hit it cleanly and Bercielli claims it which of course we are grateful on that was offside was it not it was offside the guy standing beyond every single defender including the goalkeeper was that red nap headed it away I thought that was their header it was a clearing header that went right back to him so unlucky on that part and then we get lost in translation on the follow-up possession and now the hopes are pretty much gone we did finally get a shot attempt but uh things are not looking good today uh let's get arthur out of there for thornhill get him some more practice uh let's also do something about the exhausted atkins uh, we'll bring on kitching and we'll get two more subs in there. We have not made that sub yet. Let, let's squeeze in another one. Webb is on a yellow and tired. So we'll bring on Evans. <laughs> yeah, same problem. Lanahan Penrace just hangs onto it too long and we are getting outclassed here, big time. This is quality. This is quality of opposition. I don't think it's tactical. They haven't done anything crazy or special. They're outpacing us. They're outpassing us. They are keeping the ball just fine in possession, and we are not. Now, we didn't need a win today, but a point. <laughs> really? Oh, he is offside. Uh, he's definitely offside. Uh, from the angle live actually looked pretty comfortable on he was behind his defender but it looked like their line was not l level <laughs> whatsoever but it was it was it was just the angle Sumahoro, great possession great through ball pen reese takes the angle away himself and then dribbles the freaking ball out of bounds man oh man uh this is ugly ugly performance but I did want to go for it today. I did not want to try to sit back. For one, we're not a very good defensive team this year. We, we lost our top defenders. We are still better in attack than we are in defense. So if that's the case, why would you sit back and try to get in a low block, which is not your team's play style, against a quality team? You got to just go for it. Go big or go home. We only got three shot attempts. We should have gotten a goal. We did put one at the back of the net. It would have only been a consolation prize even if it were onside. Their first goal, had that been that that further foot forward and been offside, might not have swung the momentum in their way quite the way it did. Because prior to that moment, the game was pretty even. We hadn't had a shot yet, but the game was pretty even. 
suddenly it's 1-0 and their momentum began there. They held, held the momentum from that point. So that was the worrying thing for me. But we we got outplayed big time. And I said, I don't think it was necessarily a tactical issue. It wasn't a matchup. It, it was the individual quality, depth of quality that they had that we just could not play with. Gordon was okay because he's up to their quality. Redknapp was okay. Bertielli was okay. But those were the only guys that were of a similar quality to the majority of their first team. The rest of our guys suffered in the way that we have made other teams suffer for, for years now. And only losing 2-0 with that big of a, of a deficit is almost like a, eh, yeah, that's not a bad result, all things considered. Could have been worse, especially with such a weak defense. Could have been better. Definitely could have been better. So we failed our first test, and we'll get them at home later in the season. But our chances of taking the league took a hit today. Big hit. Our chances of comfortable promotion playoff took a little hit today a lot of season to play though a lot of time for our players to get better also that is going to do it for this episode though i'm the Catholic gamer like comment subscribe and i'll see you next time have a good one be safe out there bye for now